My drifting game needed infinite mountain road. The road generator worked by choosing a preset section of road and stitching it onto the end of the last piece. This would allow complex sections of road to be easily produced and modified. To stitch the road together, each piece knew the position and rotation of each end. To figure out when to place a new piece, the generator would check what track section the car is over with the ray cast and generate more road until the newest piece was far enough ahead. Deciding when to destroy old pieces was done the same way. In choosing what pieces of road to place, the algorithm randomly chooses a valid piece with the pieces already in the world weighted less to minimize short-term repetition. And so, if you had just had a handful of hairpins, you'd be unlikely to get another right away. A piece is considered valid if adding it would not cause the sum of the angles in the last handful of sections to exceed a certain threshold. So, if the threshold was 180 degrees and the last two sections were 90 degree right turns, then any right turns would be considered invalid for the next piece as the sum would exceed the threshold. The next piece would have to be a left turn or a straight. To ensure the road gets harder and harder the further the player gets, road sections are given a difficulty value and are only valid if the player has gone far enough. The road also slowly shrinks, making the track harder to navigate and the car seeming slightly faster. Because I didn't want to export flipped versions of every road section, the road generator on startup also creates flipped copies of each. This all ties together to give Drifto infinite road.